as you can see, I got my thinking hat on again, and I've come up with a new word for the Webster's Dictionary. It's called the Dupumentary. Most people would call them documentaries, but when these things are so one-sided, to only give one side's point of view in order to dupe you into thinking none of it is their own fault, it becomes a dupumentary and not a documentary. There's watched one on America's failing interest infrastructure. Yep, we have failing infrastructure. And it, the most of this documentary was on New Orleans, Katrina. That was a man-made disaster. They, they kept saying man-made disaster. It was all the Corps of Engineers' fault. All right. The Corps of Engineers built some specifications, and then they hired it out to local subcontractors. Uh, that was doled out. The money was doled out by the local politicians in the New Orleans area. Now. So much freight comes through New Orleans. This is a very wealthy city. There's no reason that they should have had their levees fail. Uh, but it's not just the government's problem. It's the people that live there's problem. If you're so stupid to know that you're not live that you're living below sea level and you're surrounded by an ocean, if you're that stupid to know that you can't, that there's, uh, you know, let's put it this way. If you're that stupid, you deserve to drown. <laughs> I mean, go ahead, build your house there, and sit there and wait for the next hurricane. I don't want to hear about it when you drown. Most of New Orleans should have never been built there. Now, I agree we need the port. The port of New Orleans needs to be kept there, but... As far as having a big residential area, I, I don't think so. That, you know, it's below sea level. Face it. The port, the industrial part where we bring in our shipping and stuff, most of that was above sea level anyway. All that stuff was above sea level. They just built the government housing down there below sea level. I think the government was trying to drown. Anyway, uh, a lot of what went on in New Orleans was because of New Orleans corruption. That's right. Local polit politicians uh, were sticking a bunch of the money in their own pockets. So it was not all the federal government's fault. And when you say the federal government, you're saying it's my fault here in Tennessee. I got enough problems with a corrupt Tennessee government without having to worry about you New Orleaners down there. I mean, y'all gonna have to take care of your own government. If you're too stupid to take care of your own problems down there, don't come crying to me. I've got a bunch of morons up here in my state government that I we don't have time to worry about y'all down there, okay? Now, I feel sorry for you, but you should have known you was building a house below sea level. It doesn't matter what the insurance company says. Oh, you're not in a floodplain. You're protected by that pile of dirt right there. You know, anybody with a GPS or they could read a map and say, Look, I am three foot below sea level. I can see the ocean. I'm three foot below sea level. I can see the ocean. Does that not register anywhere, or do you not have enough gray matter between your ears to register that you're taking a risk, and if your house floods, the rest of the country doesn't want to hear you whine about it because you knew it. I remember hearing news reports years before Katrina about the disrepair of the dike system down, or the levee system down there in New Orleans because of the corrupt politicians were taking their money and spending it elsewhere. You know, for their own little construction company or their brother-in-law's construction company, you know, that he needed a new uh, park or something but instead of getting the levees fixed. And the same thing's happening up here. Tennessee is not immune from that one either. 
we got some pretty bad road systems in my county that I don't I don't even think we have an elected road commissioner anymore. You can't fire nobody. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's why I have this new thing called the Dupumentary. These are documentaries that are so lopsided that they blame only one thing. And it's like this this one here blamed everything on the federal government. And you know it was made by uh, Liber Liber not Liberty, uh, um, you know, uh, Democratics type, you know, the Obama lovers, because they have Obama in there. Blaming Bush for everything. It, Republican, Democrat, doesn't matter. Uh, they both, you know, greed. Greed affects both parties. So my new word down here in the South that we have in the South that y'all don't have in the North is dupumentary. Now... I've got another word, but that's for another video. And I'm going to add another vi another word to the American vocabulary. You know, I think it was Yankee Prepper that said he came up with the word Yankee Prepper, or the Prepper. He was he was, I think he was the original Prepper, even though I had a YouTube account before he did, and uh, nothing fancy had one before I did. So, uh, sorry, Yankee, you didn't coin the phrase um, but I have another one and that'll be another video because it fits just like documentary.